Mom and I have a little secret, he told his dad. The dad didn't believe him, but when he saw... The golden rays of morning sun bathed the Anderson family home in a soft, comforting light, creating a serene backdrop for the breakfast shared between David and his son Ethan. This quiet moment was a daily ritual, one that subtly underscored the bond between them, a bond that had only deepened in the two years following the tragic loss of Sarah, David's beloved wife and Ethan's doting mother. The void left by her absence was a silent companion at their table, an unspoken ache that lingered in the air. In an effort to mend the fragmented pieces of their lives, David had welcomed Lisa into their home, a vibrant, engaging presence who seemed to dispel the shadows of sorrow with her laughter and warmth. She'd quickly become the center of their world, a beacon of hope promising a future filled with happiness. To David, Lisa was a precious gift, a partner who shared in his dreams and a nurturing figure for Ethan, offering the maternal embrace he had lost. Yet beneath the veneer of their seemingly perfect new life, Ethan carried a heavy burden, a secret discovered during the innocent game of hide-and-seek, a moment that shattered his understanding of truth and trust. Hidden away in the quiet corners of their home, Ethan had stumbled upon Lisa in an embrace with a stranger, a scene that tangled his young mind in confusion and fear. Ethan, come out now. The game is over, Lisa had called out, her voice laced with a hint of urgency as she adjusted her attire, unaware of Ethan's silent observation. Mom, what were you doing? Ethan's voice was small, tinged with uncertainty as he emerged from his hiding spot, his innocent eyes searching hers for an explanation. Oh, Ethan, Lisa's response was quick, a rehearsed tenderness shaping her words. It's just a little game, a secret game. Can you keep a secret for Mommy? Ethan, caught in the web of her persuasion, nodded, a pact sealed by a child's trust, yet weighed down by the gravity of what he had seen. Yes, Mom, he whispered, the promise binding him to silence, a heavy stone in his heart. This secret, nurtured by Lisa's manipulation, became a chasm between Ethan and his father, a barrier of unspoken truths and concealed pain. As the days unfolded, the light that Lisa had brought into their lives dimmed, revealing the shadows of deception that lay beneath, casting a long, dark shadow over the once happy Anderson family home. As days melted into weeks, the weight of Ethan's secret forged a quiet transformation within him. The world, once a tapestry of simple joys and unspoken understandings, now seemed painted in shades of gray, each day a little dimmer, a little more complex. The laughter that once filled the corners of their home grew scarce, replaced by a thickening silence that seemed to pulse with unsaid words and unshared truths. Lisa's presence in the house, once a beacon of warmth and laughter, had shifted into something colder, more distant. Her smiles, when they came, seemed to touch only her lips, never reaching the depths of her eyes. Ethan watched with a heart too young for such burdens, as the woman he was learning to call Mom transformed before his eyes. Her patience, once seemingly endless, now frayed easily, sparking into arguments with David over matters as trivial as a misplaced book or a forgotten errand. But it was the arguments about money that left the deepest marks in the fabric of their family life. Ethan, hiding just out of sight, could hear his father's voice, a mixture of confusion and frustration, as Lisa's demands grew more insistent, more extravagant. We need to be careful with our spending, Lisa, David's voice would echo through the corridors, only to be met with cold rebuttals or dismissive laughs. In the midst of this growing storm, Ethan found himself adrift, clinging to the remnants of a promise made at a moment of manipulation. His loyalty to Lisa, once as firm as the ground beneath his feet, now felt like quicksand, pulling him deeper into confusion. The contrast between the care David lavished upon Lisa and her indifferent, sometimes scornful responses left Ethan wrestling with a painful dichotomy. The home that had been his sanctuary now felt like a battlefield, every conversation a minefield of potential conflict. Amidst this turmoil, Ethan's perception of right and wrong, truth and secrecy, began to shift. The seed of an idea took root in his mind, not born of malice, but from a place of innocence and a desperate wish for harmony. 
Perhaps sharing his secret with David could mend the widening rift, could bring back the laughter and light that had once defined their home. This thought, fragile as the first rays of dawn, grew within him. It promised no easy answers, but held the faint glimmer of hope for a return to the days when his family felt whole. As Ethan watched the shadows of doubt and sadness creep across his father's face, he realized that silence, too, can be a choice, and sometimes the hardest chains to break are the ones we forge ourselves. The twilight hour had cast its serene glow upon Ethan's bedroom, a soft sanctuary amidst the tumult of recent days. As David gently tucked the covers around his son, Ethan's voice, barely above a whisper, shattered the silence. Dad, Mom and I have a little secret, he confided, the words heavy with the weight of untold truths. David's heart seemed to pause, the gravity of Ethan's admission drawing him into a moment of profound realization. The signs he had chosen to ignore, the whispers of doubt he had silenced, everything crystallized in the span of that confession. Oh, Ethan, David murmured, his voice a blend of warmth and sorrow, I wish you hadn't had to carry that alone. The days that unfurled in the wake of Ethan's revelation were marked by a quiet determination. David, once buoyed by hope and affection for Lisa, found himself navigating the murky waters of betrayal. The installation of cameras, a decision that pained him deeply, was a silent testament to his resolve. Just a little longer, he whispered to himself, as he reviewed the footage that confirmed his darkest fears. Confronting Lisa was a spectacle none of them had anticipated. How could you? David's voice broke the silence, not with anger, but with a betrayal so profound it seemed to echo through the very walls of their home. Lisa's defense was feeble, her excuses falling flat against the irrefutable evidence David laid before her. It's not what it looks like, she pleaded, her words a feeble attempt to weave through the truth, but David was unmoved. The courtroom was a blur, the finality of the judge's ruling resonating like a gavel to their fractured lives. Custody awarded to Mr. Anderson, the judge declared, a simple sentence that heralded a new beginning for David and Ethan. In the quiet aftermath, father and son found solace in each other's company, their shared journey through the heartache, fostering a bond stronger than ever. We'll get through this together, David assured Ethan, their hands clasped tightly, a silent pledge to face the world as a united front. Their story, a poignant reminder of the enduring strength of love and honesty, became a beacon of hope. In their shared resilience, David and Ethan discovered that even in the deepest despair, a glimmer of light remains, a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the unbreakable bond between a father and his son.